Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David N. Ark and today we are coasting down the ski jump arena. That's right. We're on the ski jumping map and uh, I just, I'm going to position vehicles at the top of the ramp and just let them roll on down. In fact, I had to put them into manual transmission so that they wouldn't engage the uh, drive gear at all and there we go. Just send them, <laughs> uh, sending them down the ski jump in neutral. We're coasting. Ouch. Right, here we go. This is a different version of the SUV. And again, no gearbox being used. We are just flat out letting it coast and see, I don't know what happens, obviously bottomed out a little bit there but oh look at that beautiful clearance not a problem other than the fact that we're flipping over wait wait are we gonna land on all fours here we go oh yeah oh no <laughs> i mean yes yes we did we landed on all fours but uh, we're kind of well squished all right let's try this from the driver's seat man let's get in the vehicle and just coast on down the ski jump i have to say as a driver of the vehicle or i guess technically well i guess technically i am driving per se but i mean this looks relatively tame just go down the ski jump uh, okay never mind this this is where it loses well, i don't even know where are we oh okay there's there's the ground we, we found it oh and into the wall how about a little bit of the uh gavril or uh, uh what's the, what's the word i'm looking for you know the police cover <laughs> the grand marshal oh my brain is not working the grand marshal police car Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. That's even a... Man, that's actually a decent arc. Ouch. I mean, the front end hit a little hard, but... Hey, we survived. We are rolling along. All right, well, the front end's a little messed up, and... Ugh. Well, okay. Now the front end's a lot messed up. Still, though, not, not too bad. All right, what if we try the Grand Marshal in the external camera that's right we'll just let beam ng do the driving basically i'm not touching anything we're gonna let beam ng do the coasting do the steering and handle the camera work because you know why not <laughs> it's, it's beam ng man you can just do all kinds of crazy stuff look at that oh yeah i have to say man the grand marshal you know, they've reworked it, uh, what do you call that, uh, re-engineered it, whatever they did. Oh, ouch. Okay, well, it ran into the wall. But it is a beast of a car. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking of a beast of a car, what happens when you take a drag model car that wants to go 250 miles an hour and you tell it to coast down the ski jump oh my gosh i mean it is hauling even without any engine whatsoever i mean there's an engine but we're not using it oh look at that just beautifully sailing through the air and uh, oh, until the front end hits and then it's all she wrote but uh, still managing to do fairly well other than walls walls are the downfall of many of these vehicles in this particular episode Whew. gotta watch the walls man uh, how about from the front end from the front end what am I talking about from the driver's seat uh, I have to say that's one of the best views in BeamNG right there that car with that view well I'm not this view now that's not so great but you know you, you know what i'm saying oh oh ouch 
All right, I'm going to take a different approach, and we are sending the T-Series, whatever it's called, Americana truck, off the jump. Let's just see what happens. Eagle flying through the air and severely crash landing. Oh, that's, that's not good. Okay, let, let's try this from the regular angle. Let's get in here from the orbit view. Oh, look at that. Just sailing through the air. The eagle takes flight. Now, if it could land softly, we'd have it made, but I don't think that's what's going to happen. Slow this down. Oh, and we send all of the wheels flying. There is not a wheel attached to this vehicle any longer. Oh, man. It's the crazy destruction and the fire effect. I have to say, it's very, very cool uh, what they've been doing to improve the fire effects in the game. Well, we did a police car, so why not an ambulance? Because, <laughs> you know... Why not? Hey, we've got a patient that we've got to get down to the bottom of the hill ASAP. So let's just see what happens. It's got a little bit of rocking back and forth. There we go. Oh, wait, are we going to miss the ramp? I think we're going to miss. Yeah, missed it by that much. I'm going to go on a limb and say I don't think the patient survived. All right, let's try the ambulance again, only this time employ the external camera once again. I have to say, I have a hard time, generally speaking, using the external camera when I play this game. But, you know, when you're just sending stuff down the ramp, <laughs> the external camera is just fine. Not a problem at all. Ah, oh, look at that. Sailing through the air and oh where are we oh there we go oh that that's actually not too bad that's kind of a soft landing upside down i'm soft uh, you know it's relative but see that's not too bad oh and we even flipped it back upside right oh how about the piccolina was this track model, I think it's called, or whatever. I don't know, I can't keep up with all the names of the different vehicles, man. I mean, the, the different, you know, styles, whatever. Anyhow, it's a Piccolina, and we're going to send it off and maybe get some roly-polies out of it because the Piccolina is definitely one of the most roly-poly vehicles. Look, even in the air, it's roly-poly, man. Come on, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Ah, uh, not quite going to make it around. The roll cage saves us, <laughs> however, the uh, engine with the transmission uh, is sticking straight up in the air, or straight down into the ground, depending on your perspective. Alright, let's take another look at the Piccolina from a different angle. This time, I'm going to ride this thing right behind, well, a little off, but right behind that rear tire. Just for a different view, a different perspective on what things look like when you are coasting down the ski jump, taking off, flying through the air, and once again, rolling. Can we make it? We almost, almost make it all the way around, but there we go. There's some of the rolling we expect from a Piccolina. And again, the engine with the transmission sticking straight up. It can't be good. Ouch. How about if we just send a camper trailer down the ski jump? I'm actually surprised it's just going by itself. I mean, obviously, I'm not doing anything to it because there's no way I can steer it. Uh, are we going to make it? Oh, uh, uh, oh, man. Just short of making it to the other end. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> oh, this game, holy cow. All right, let's try this again. 
I tried to move it over a little bit, but I think I may have moved it too far. Well, okay, it's, it's starting to ease back to the center. There we go. All right. Well, if it has any chance of making it, this is it, because, I mean, that was beautifully centered. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I thought at least we'd run into the edge up there. Nope, just short and down to our uh, doom. <laughs> well, the trailer worked so well. What about, what, what, what about a cargo trailer? The dry van goods trailer. Oh, my gosh. This is... I probably should have raised the feet. Although, I don't know if that would have made any difference. Well, there you go. There's, <laughs> now the feet are definitely not an issue. Holy cow, this thing is getting some serious air. And look at this. That is probably the best landing of the day. That even beats the Grand Marshal, man. That was great. Landed on the back wheels. I mean, yes, it ripped everything apart. And we're about to... Ah, crash into the wall and send our cargo flying, but that was a heck of a flight. We have got to do that again. What happens if we open the doors while we're going down the ramp? I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. Uh, okay, I kind of thought stuff was going to fly out the back, but it's, it's not. It's not flying out at all. Look at that. That's a beautiful arc. We land on the back wheels. Again, yes, it's, you know, ripping itself to shreds, but I have to say, all in all, that is not too bad of a run, considering it's a freaking tractor-trailer trailer, or however you say that. How about a piano? Anybody want to try a piano? <laughs> Look, every now and then, there we go, we, we can hear it playing so softly killing me softly with his words and oh well a little bump into the wall I don't think we've got the speed to launch nope well all right there you go well there you go that is just a few random vehicles being thrown down the ski jump all in neutral just to well, frankly, see what happens. There you go. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Thank you so much to War Heroes Gaming and Gamer Gall for supporting me on Patreon. You can check that out, patreon.com slash David in Ark. Whoa. Hey, if you like the video and other ones like this, feel free to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I appreciate it so much, and it helps me out so much especially if you like it and you share it that is awesome stuff in the meantime thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and we will see you next time on b and g drive